These are my day six World Cup predictions. If you haven't subscribed, make sure you subscribe because I drop daily predictions every day until the World Cup ends. Before we dive into the first game, which is Wales and Iran, I need to tell you about my friends over at Pookie. Pookie is a brand new predictor website that launched just in time for the World Cup. On the website, you predict your score lines for each match day in the World Cup. And if your predictions are among some of the best, you can receive loads of rewards. The game will be in its free to play stage during the tournament. And when you get score lines correct, you receive Matic currency and Pookie balls, which will have massive perks later down the road for your future predictions. Even though it's free to play, you will have the chance to win plenty of physical rewards, such as PS5s and FIFA 23 after each match day. It's not too late to join because if your predictions are among some of the best, you can win rewards every single day of the World Cup. Here are some of my results from match day one where I predicted an Ecuador win as well as a perfect prediction for the Netherlands game. So hit the link in the description, sign up for Pookie and prove that you're a better predictor than I am. Now both Wales and Iran will want to improve on their performance in match day one. Wales came up against the USA. The USA looked very, very sharp in that first half and then Wales managed to fight their way back into the second half, bringing on Keith Omua and then Bale eventually slotted a penalty to draw that game 1-1. Now Iran didn't have as much luck in their first match day against England. England came out so hot against this Iran team. Harry Kane scored a goal, Saka scored two, Jude Bellingham opened up the scoring, just about everyone scored, even Harry Maguire hit the crossbar. This England team is looking very, very dangerous and I'm sure Gareth Southgate will be very chuffed with these boys. Now Joe Allen has started training again with the Welsh side, but I'm not sure if he is going to get a start against Iran here. On the other hand, Moore came off the bench against the USA and really impressed. He was that impact player that made the difference for them, so I'm sure he's going to get a start. And then for Iran, Hossessini, their replacement goalkeeper will probably have to start this game again for Iran after their starting keeper got a knee to the head and went down. I think his nose is broken. I'm not exactly sure what happened there, but it looked like a very, very serious injury. Now, based on their last performance in match day one, Wales definitely look the favorites to take this one. Iran, though, can surprise, and Tarimi did get both goals in that England game. Tarimi is holding this Iran team together at the moment, much like Gareth Bale is for Wales. I do think this is going to be a tight affair, but I am leaning towards Wales in this one. I think they have the better squad, the better depth, and they should be able to pull out a result here. So I'm going for a 2-1 Wales win, but my tip, I'm going to stay away from the result because it could go either way. So we're going both teams to score. Our next fixture is Qatar taking on Senegal. Now Qatar opened up the World Cup against Ecuador and became the first host nation ever to lose the opening game of a World Cup. To be fair, Ecuador completely outplayed them in that first half. Valencia had a great game, but Qatar really look out of their depth here. Where Senegal, on the other hand, don't look out of their depth at all. They really impressed against this Netherlands team. Even without Sadio Mane, I think those Senegalese players have a point to prove that they're just as good without Sadio Mane. They started very, very well. They kept up with Netherlands the entire time. But to be fair, I do think Netherlands played their game plan quite well. They held a very solid back line and then eventually took their chance when it came in the 84th minute. Now Senegal will be looking to beat Qatar here because both of these teams need a win here to stay alive. Senegal are the clear favorites here and I don't think Qatar are going to put up much of a fight against this very good Senegalese team. One of the best African teams, well they are the AFCON winners so they should be the best African team. But this will also set a good benchmark for where the Senegal and Ecuador game line up in match day three. I think that is the game that is going to decide who moves forward into the knockout stages in that second spot. So we definitely going to be able to see if Senegal can pull out a result here and we're going to see if Ecuador can stand up to Netherlands. So for this one, I'm definitely going to favor Senegal here. I'm going for a 3-0 Senegal win and my tip is Senegal to win. Our next fixture is Netherlands taking on Ecuador. Now a win here for Netherlands would basically guarantee them a spot in the knockout stages. Ecuador, same thing. If they win this one, they basically guaranteed a spot in the knockout stages. It does all depend what happens with Senegal and then the Senegal and Ecuador game. But Ecuador will fancy their chances here against the Dutch. We spoke about how well Ecuador started in that opening match. Probably should have had three or four in that first half, but they managed a 2-0 win over Qatar. Valencia got a brace in the first 
first half, but he did take a knock. So he might not be starting against this Netherlands team. And I think that plays a massive factor in how this result is going to turn out. Now, Netherlands, we spoke about their line of defense. I'm going to emphasize it again. One of the best defenses in the World Cup, if not the best defense. They held very strong. Yes, Senegal had their opportunities, but Netherlands managed to hold on until the 84th minute where Gapo headed a ball in, making it 1-0, and then Janssen eventually picked up the scraps, I think in the 92nd or 3rd minute, to make it 2-0. To be honest with you, Janssen was very uninspiring in that game against Senegal, and I think that they need to replace him with Memphis Depay. Memphis Depay was coming back from a little bit of an injury, which is why he started on the bench, but I do think he'll be fully fit to start this game, and he is Netherlands' danger player. He can turn a game on its head like this, provide some impact, provide a spark, and I think that's exactly what Netherlands will be looking at. At you. How I think this is going to go, very similar to the Senegal game for Netherlands. They're going to keep that strong defensive line. They're going to wait. They're going to hold the ball. I wouldn't be surprised if they have a lot of possession in this game and then they're going to take their one or two chances that come. I don't think it's going to be a runaway. I don't think we're going to see Netherlands beat a team by more than two or three goals in this tournament. They're just one of those defensive type of teams. So for me, I'm going for a 2-0 Netherlands win and my tip is Netherlands to win. Then our final fixture is England taking on USA. Now, when I first predicted that England-Iran game, I was expecting England to start slow. They normally do in a World Cup and their form hasn't been great in the Nations League. But my goodness, did they surprise me. Came out, banged three goals in the first half, Sucker with two, Jude Bellingham with one, and that Sucker goal, that volley was very, very impressive. Now, USA, we did say, they started that game against Wales very, very well. They probably should have taken more of their chances in that first half, probably been two or three nil up at half time so they only have themselves to blame for not getting the three points there christian pulisic is going to have to really step up in this game he's going to have to be the talisman for this usa team if they are looking to take points off of england here do i think usa can take points off of england I'm not sure. I don't, I don't think so. England's set piece is going to be very dangerous against this USA defense. I don't think the USA have the defenders to keep out a Harry Kane or a Harry Maguire. Speaking about Harry Kane, he did take a knock, so he is in doubt for this game, but I don't think that'll make too much of a difference. They'll just bring on Wilson to uh, take his place. But back to Harry Maguire. I think with Trippier's balls from set pieces, Harry Maguire is not a bad shout here to score a goal. USA are going to have to take a lot of pressure the entire game and I just don't see them keeping out this England side. So for me, I think England are going to be a handful. They're going to overwhelm the USA. I do think the US might be able to get a goal off a counter-attack. We saw that happen in the Iran game where England got the lead, took their foot off the gas and Iran managed to get two goals at the end. So I think this is going to end in a 3-1 England win and my tip is England to win. And that about wraps it up. Guys, remember, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Also, you go click the link in my description to go register and sign up for Pookie. It's an incredible game, fun, and you can win some prizes. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace.